we certainly welcome back Brother Bishop Taylor. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Mm -hmm. Try me, Try me. Mm -hmm. and know my faults, mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. if there be any wicked way mm -hmm. in me, and lead me mm -hmm. in the way everlasting. To God out of blessings to the of this world. Sanctify in our hearts. This morning, just a little while. Tonight, like I'm almost finished. Fully submerged. Fully submerged. Paul declares that we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. I'm so glad he put the word all in there. Because all means all. All people have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Preachers are included in all. Amen. Deacons are included in all. Amen. Mothers, as good as they look, they are included in all. The babies are included in all. That makes it impossible or downright foolish for somebody to point the finger at somebody else in their sin. My mama used to say, uh, uh, before you say somebody else's yard is dirty, yeah. mm -mm. make sure yours is clean. Mm -mm. Can I get help here this morning? Amen. Amen. It's so personal, it's so the sin thing, because there's some sin that we commit, amen, that uh, we think that only we know about. Amen. 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 We tend to judge the more visible sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But the ones that are invisible are the more dangerous. That's right. right. Yeah. Because the invisible ones can make you think that you're actually getting away with it. Right. Right. Amen. 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 But, but, but there comes a time in our life mm -hmm. that we ought to realize, amen, uh, that uh, we, we, it's time to, that we just stop doing some of those things. Amen. Can I get, can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. There, there, there comes a time in all of our lives when we know we need to be deeper into the things of God. Amen. 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 It's foolish to play with God. Amen. It's foolish to play with God. Amen. Amen. Because God knows all. And God sees all. 
is not you getting away with it as much as it is God's grace. Can I get a witness? You said you weren't going to do it again. You, you, you said, Lord, if you will just get me out of it this time. Amen. 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 I, 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 I won't do it anymore. Amen. 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 But as soon as you started feeling a little better, Amen. 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 As soon as you straightened out your clothes, Amen. Amen. Went and got your head done, Amen. 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 And come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, as soon as you got the job, Amen. As, as soon as He, God's grace, kept you one more time, a couple of weeks later, you forgot all about it. All right. Amen. 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 And God is just sitting there tapping His foot. Amen. 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 Because if God was to ever take his grace from us, Woo. come on, help me, Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, see, it's not that you have arrived, amen. It's, yeah. it's that God's grace is sufficient. Yeah. It's, it's not so much about how good you is, amen. It's about how good God is. I, 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 you ought to be praising God that he didn't take you out in the midst of your mess, amen. But he had mercy. Upon you, but he made you rise, get up one more day, amen. amen. He let you live to see another day, amen. amen. Another time that we can work on ourselves and try to get it right. You know, uh, we need a time in our lives where we need to be deeper, amen. Amen. into the things amen. of God. Uh, a time, preachers, uh, in our lives where we must swim. Or sink. <laughs> Don't you know that it is the sin in us that so easily besets us? It, well, that, that so easily gets in my way, amen, and, and stops me from being all that I can be in God. Help me, Holy Ghost. You, 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 you have two entities speaking into your ears, amen. And I've uh, constantly given the visual of the devil on one shoulder. And a little angel, amen, on the other shoulder. Right. Right? And day by day, amen, uh, the devil is just talking to you, right. just tempting you, amen, amen, causing you to curse people out, uh, causing you, come on, to mess around with somebody's husband, causing you, amen, to do things you know. Oh, see, it got quiet in here. But if I go long enough, I'll go down Hill Street, amen. Your sin might not be my sin, amen. But let me just talk a little longer about it. And sooner or later, I'll cover your stuff. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Go ahead, Doctor. Deeper. Deeper. You, you, you know where we, we know that we're on borrowed time. Amen. We, we know that we're on borrowed time. God has been good to us. Amen. Didn't kill us when he was supposed to kill us because the wages of sin is death. Can I get a witness? That's the wage of sin. That's what sin gets you. You purchase death by sin. Amen. But this isn't a judgmental uh, sermon because Jesus didn't even come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And John had sense enough to write, in the beginning, amen, was the word. In the beginning was God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. And the word became flesh. He stepped into time, amen, into your time, into my time, stepped into your path, because you was on your way to hell. He stepped into the path, and he said, come unto me, uh, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, come unto me, amen. I know what you're going through. See, sin will keep you in prison. Can I get a witness? Sin will keep you out late at night, uh, looking for what you can't find. Sin will make you a fool out of you, amen. Because after sin is done with you, then it slays you. Amen. When I'm talking about a time when we must swim or sink, deeper into our relationship with God, deeper into the Word of God, deeper into prayer, and even deeper into the church. 
Because some of us are just dancing around the periphery. Uh -oh. Amen. We got one foot in Zion. Amen. And the next foot on US 19. Can I get a witness? We're swaying back and forth. Amen. Sometimes we're up and sometimes we're down. Sometimes we're Christian and sometimes we're hellraiser. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we're a member of Zion and sometimes we're a member of the club. Help me, Holy Ghost. We're, we're, in, we're betwixt between two lifestyles. Amen. And, and, and God said, I'd rather you be hot or cold. I don't want you to straddle the fence. Amen. Because I, I, I spew you out of my mouth. You are, you are conundrum. Amen. You're spiritually schizophrenic. You, you, you say one thing, but, but after the benediction, then you start acting another way. You're a saint on Sunday and you're an angel on Monday. And you don't even know who you is by Tuesday. But I hired you to say my grace. And, and in our text, David has come to such a time. Having judged God's enemies, David is quite willing to place himself under the same judgment. To have the Lord turn the spotlight on his soul. Turn the spotlight on his heart. Thus he prays, search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Examine me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Uh, we, we, we get serious when we ask the Lord to search us. <laughs> because a lot of times we want to keep the Lord's spotlight off of us. But imagine, my brothers and my sisters, if your thoughts can be visible to everybody. Wow. If your thoughts can run across like a neon sign. Amen. Amen. You're saying, bless me, but you're really saying something else me. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Oh, man, I'm not going to go too deep into that. But David is saying, search those things. Yes. Because I have tried mm -hmm. and tried over and over, mm -hmm. amen, to make it on my own. Amen. I've tried to stop on my own. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I've tried to stop sinning on my own. I thought if I just had enough willpower. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. But God will let you go to the end of willpower. And then God say, now what? And, and come on, amen, and, 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 and get some of my power. Amen. But you can only get it through grace, and you can only get it through admitting what you are. Amen? amen. See, that, well, that's how a lot of us fall short right there. We cannot, we don't have the ability to be honest with ourselves. But what if he can turn the spotlight on? See, we, 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 we learn how to cover it up. We, we learn how to put church on it. We learn how to look churchy. Come on, some of us need to learn how to walk churchy. Come on, somebody. You know how to look deep like as if God is just speaking to us like we're spelling something that stinks. And we look real deep. Come on, can I get a witness? Come on, can I get a witness? But see, God don't look at none of that. He, he looks on the inside. Amen. He knows you just a dressed up garbage can. Amen. But I want to do a work on the inside. Amen. But you got to come into the emergency room and allow me to perform surgery on you. That's what David is saying. He's saying, turn the x-ray on God. Come on, yeah. uh, because if there's any way, any wicked way in me, help me, Holy Ghost, he said, I need you to remove it, amen, so that I could be all that you want me to be. And inviting God to become intimate with him, he is only responding to the reality that God has already searched him and known him. Look at verse 1, it says it right there. 
O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Amen. So he started, by the time he gets to 23, he said, do it again, Lord. Come on, somebody. Because look, by the time you leave service, as a matter of fact, uh, sometime even before you leave service, the enemy's going to try to snatch that word away from you. Amen. Because sometimes it falls on deaf ears. You have to stop. Uh, the enemy, amen, from interrupting the word of God from reaching you, amen. amen. And then you gotta protect it when you leave here. Right. Because the enemy is gonna try to snatch it from you. Because he wants to keep you messed up and tied up in him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, Lord. But David said, examine me. We're good at saying, examine her. Mm. Ah. Right now, man. Yeah. <laughs> or examine him. Yeah. Amen. 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 Some of us know <laughs> about, think they know more about you than you know about yourself. Right. 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 But David doesn't say, search him. Because what good it would do, it do David if God searched everybody else but him? Yeah. Yeah. When we submit to God's work in our we grant him permission to do that which he has already purposed and ordained in our life. The call of God preaches ought to be a sobering time in your life. Because God is, called, uh, God is calling you, amen, and you know you're in work. Amen. But he's still calling you. And, and, and when he calls you, amen, don't think that the enemy is just going to leave you alone. Amen. As a matter of fact, you're going to start to have more and more trials because of the calling that is on your life. Amen. That's why you have to stay humble and continue to ask the Lord, Lord, keep the searchlight on me. Right. Come on, somebody, because you can fool some of the people some of the time, but, right, but right. you can't fool God none of the time. Can I get a witness? Amen. Search me, God. Examine me. Our dignity is not in overturning his sovereignty, mm -hmm. but in freely submitting to it. Right. Have your way. Mm -hmm. If you can use anything, mm -hmm. come on. If I, 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 I'm allowing you, God, to use me, but, but Lord, I'm keeping it real with you. Amen. Yeah. I'm, I'm damaged goods. Can yeah. I get a witness? Yeah. Sometimes I want to do right, but when I want to do good, evil sometimes is always present within me. Yeah. Come on, when I want to go to the next level, it seems like I take two steps back. And sometimes it's my mouth that stands in your way, God. But I need you to fix some stuff in me this morning. Help me, Holy Ghost. I need you to fix my mouth. Because sometimes it's my mouth that keeps my mind in trouble. David realizes that as God knows David, David will know himself. Because as God knows David, he will put a mirror up in front of David so David can see himself as he is. Can I get a witness? Yeah, right. and, and while you're thinking that you're all that in a bag of movie popcorn, you need to understand that it, and you ain't all that, baby. All right. Can I get a witness? All God has to do ah. is pull the covers, amen, off of your stuff. Pull the covers off of your midnight rendezvous. Pull the covers off of your thoughts. Pull, pull the covers off of your flirtatious way. Pull the cover, amen, off of you. All God got to do is pull the cover and say, this is what it is. Yeah. Amen. That's all. This is what it really, really is. Can I get a witness? Amen. And I'm talking about all of us, amen. amen. We are here because of the grace and mercy of God. And I need the Lord to search me and see if you find anything that ought not be. I'm asking you, Lord, please take it away. Because if you don't, I'll end up killing myself. We sent ourselves to hell by not accepting the blood. That is the only thing that's able. Amen. 
to take sin away. Amen. 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 And when God searches us and he sees us as we are, he applies the blood. Amen. Amen. And so when we stand because sin cannot stand in the presence of God and our sinful selves, the only way you can stand in the presence of God is to be covered with the blood. Where God doesn't see you, he sees the blood. Amen. And the blood has cleansing power. Can I get a witness? The blood has dead right power. The, the blood has forgiving power. What? Take away my sin. Nothing. But, but David's goal, Mother White, is not merely self knowledge. His goal is righteousness. Thus he continues. Try me and know my heart. Amen. 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 I need God to know my heart. Can I get a witness? Amen. So it ain't no use for me to put on a mask and go into God's presence. Amen. You look like a fool. <laughs> Putting on a mask and going into God's presence and trying to pretend to be something that you know you're not. Can I get a witness? They, they said, know my shortcomings. Know my weaknesses. Know my sin. Amen. Thank you, God. David wanted God to search out his heart. Those things in his heart that would challenge his faith and lead him into sin. Can I get a witness? It starts with thoughts. That's why we have to bring under subjection every thought. That goes against God. Amen. Amen. What you need to do as soon as the thought comes, Lord, take it away. Amen. Don't feed into it. Amen. Yes. You're thinking about it and then you start, amen, to continue to look at it. Can I get a witness? Yes. And when you look at it long enough, amen, uh -huh. it just starts to build up in you. You need to right away say, Satan, loose your hole. Take your mind, take your hand off of my mind. I want, to, I want to worship God. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes you be sitting in a pew. Uh oh. Thinking those thoughts. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Sometimes you're sitting in a pew. Mad at somebody. Uh -huh. Somebody on this side of the church ain't speaking to somebody on that uh -huh. side of the church. Uh -huh. Come on, somebody. Amen. Rolling eyes. The rolling eye ministry. <laughs> you ain't never seen that ministry? Come on, somebody. Is it like the praise and worship team that gets in front of the church? Amen. It just does its thing. Can I get a witness? Rolling eyes ministry. You just got finished testifying to the goodness of the Lord. Then you slip right into the rolling eyes ministry. You just got finished praying. Amen. And you slip right into the rolling eyes ministry. Come on, somebody. The devil is a liar. How could you say you love God who you've never seen and be rolling your eyes at your sister and your brother who you see every day? Preach, I say. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Somebody need the searchlight, amen. And, and I'm telling you, the Bible is the searchlight. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost. Get in it and see yourself. David wanted God to search his heart. And if you see any painful and sinful way in me, Lord, please remove it. In the name of of Jesus. Amen. Is there something he doesn't know about that that needs to be changed in him? <clears throat> you know, sometimes we wonder why we have certain attitudes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why did I just get mad like that? Mm -hmm. Why did I just, I just got out of church? I mean, what, what happened? Hey, Amen. I felt so good sitting there. I found somebody. And I heard the word, but why did I do that? What, what is it that's in me, amen, that keeps me to do these kind of things when I know they ain't right, when I know, amen, God is not pleased? What, what is it that's in me that keeps me doing these things? Amen. Jesus. Mm. He said, if there are, David said, 
said, I want to be corrected. And I want to be restored. And he said, and lead me in the way everlasting. Take over my feet. Having come from God, he wants to go back to God. The way everlasting is the way home to the Father's house. It's the way home to the Father's heart. This is the intimacy that God wants to have with us. He formed us in the womb. Yes. He knows our frame. Yes. He sees our embryo. Yes. He fashions our days. He knows our thoughts. He hears our words. Right. He knows when we sit down and when we stand up. Yes. He protects us. His hand is upon us. Yes. He who inhabits all things is near to us. We cannot escape his presence. In the light, he sees us. In the dark, he sees us. We are the continual object of his thoughts. He searches us and he changes us. His true intimacy. And if we can allow God to become intimate with us, we can establish a growing intimacy with each other. Amen. Let me say that again. Amen. If we can allow God to become intimate with us, we can establish a growing intimacy with each other. But everybody, everyone needs to be Working on yourself with God. Amen. Don't work on somebody else more than you work on yourself. Right. Don't know my stuff, amen, better than you know your stuff. Amen. Look at somebody say, know your own stuff. Oh. You got some stuff, baby. Oh, yeah. You got some junk in there. God's omniscience. The all seeing God. God's omnipresence, the all-present God, God's omnipotence, the all-powerful God. God is everywhere. He's everywhere present. He's everywhere is. He never was. Can I get a witness? He always is. He can't come and he can't go because he's everywhere at the same time. He was with you last night. He was with you on that phone, that cell phone. Come on, somebody. You were so busy, amen, talking that talk, and you heard a beeping in you. What's that? I don't know what that is. That's God saying, I'm here, baby. Tell me, Holy Ghost. You stopped talking because you was wondering who else is on the line. Baby, God was on the line. He was like, <laughs> is that Deidre? <laughs> my name's James right there, and I got my son right there. Hey, come on, somebody. Right. Have you heard a little clicking on the line? Yeah. Hey, man, you know what that was? That was God coming on the line, saying, I'm here. Hey, Amen. Amen. That's why we should live so that as if God is always watching. Amen. That's why we should talk so that God is always listening. That's why we should go so knowing that God is already there. Amen. He's sitting right Amen. next Amen. to you at that club. Amen. Somebody tell me about a club named Deuces or something like that. He's sitting Amen. right He's in Deuces. <laughs> He's in Deuces.
Matter of fact, he, the hairs on your head are counted. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. That means he knows every hair on your head. He's assigned a number to it. Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yeah. And if you're like me, after you done brushed your hair, you done lost a couple. Amen. And God already knows. Help me, Holy Ghost. God already knows the number. That's how well he knows you. He knows your DNA. Amen. He knows your weaknesses. He knows your hurts. He knows your pain. He knows your shortcomings. You cannot get away from God. Amen. Especially with his people. Come on, Holy Ghost. A believer once asked an unbeliever, where are you going? The believer said, I'm going to church. The reply, to do what there? The believer said, to worship God. The unbeliever said, can you tell me whether your God is a great God or a little God? The believer said, he's both. The unbeliever said, how can he be both? When he said, he is so great that the heavens of heaven cannot contain him. But he's so little that he can dwell in my heart. Come on, somebody. I'm here to tell somebody today that it's time to go fully submerged. Amen? When you go swimming, you submerge your body in the water. If your head is out of the water, you're not submerged. You're just wet. Come on, somebody. David said, I was fully submerged in sin. He said, but I was drowned. In Psalm 51, he said, have mercy upon me. Oh God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me Thoroughly yeah. for mm. my iniquity yeah. and cleanse me yes, God. from my sin. Fully submerged, amen. Yes, I don't know about you, but you know, uh, as kids, we go through some things, amen. I used to try to fool my mama by not really taking a full shot. Uh, oh, come on, oh, come on, my mama. Come on, my mama. Come on, my mama. Knock on the door. Get the underarms. Get behind your ears. Come on, somebody. I used to be so crazy. Sometimes I just run the water, sit on the side of the bed, act like I took a shower, amen, and ain't got clean one day. Mama is like God. You don't take enough showers, the whole house don't know it. She's saying, she said, boy, you ain't took no shower. You know, Mom. Yeah, I just came from the basketball court. Amen. Sweaty. Help me, Holy Ghost. And some of us done came from the world. Amen. Sweaty. Smelling like smoke. My Lord. Got behind the door. Turn the shower on. We heard the water. But you need to submerge. Come on, somebody. You fool around with it. And sooner or later, amen, one part of you is going to start telling on you. It's going to tell on you. Your sin is going to find you out. That's why I said it goes into his nostrils. Am I preaching this on my David now desires to be fully submerged in God and swim. He says, oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thoughts are far off. You comprehend my path and my lying down. And you are acquainted with all of my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue but behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. Yes. You are with me, behind me, mm -hmm. and you are before me. Mm -hmm. You are on the side of me, right. and you have laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge, David said, is too wonderful for me. It is high. I 
cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? He said, if I ascend into heaven, you're there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you're there. there. Mm -hmm. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. Look at somebody say, he got his hand on me, and I can't get away from him. The more I try, the more he holds me. Amen. I want to escape from time, but God got his hand on me. He won't turn me loose. I want to go to the club, but I stop feeling a little guilty. I call my friend who I know ain't got no busy car, and I stop feeling a little guilty. Where can I go when you are not? There's nowhere. The darkness and the light are both a light to you, says David. God is telling somebody it's time to go deeper. You've been on the surface too long. You have been operating too close to the shore of your comfort zone too long. You have allowed what others say or feel about you to stop you. God is telling somebody it's time to invite me to search you. Cry out to me. Mm-hmm. Worship me. Get real with me. Mm-hmm. God's telling somebody it's time to let uh, stop allowing the same old sin to keep me from using you fully. Search me, Lord. Strengthen me, Lord. Steer me, Lord. God is telling somebody it's time to fully submerge yourself under the power of my searchlight. Be honest. Be open. Be willing. That spells how. Honesty, open-mindedness, and willingness. God saw Zacchaeus. Amen? He was a little short little man. But God saw him. Amen. He said, I'm short. But I ain't going to let that uh, from stop God from seeing me. So I'm going to climb a little higher. So he saw a sycamore tree. And he said, I'm going to climb a little higher. My physical stature is short, but I ain't going to let that stop me from God seeing me. Jesus saw the woman at the well. Went to the well at noon. Because nobody else went at high noon. It was too hot to go to the well at noon. But because she was living a lifestyle, she was in prison, amen? And she couldn't allow other people to see her because they knew that she was living with a man that wasn't her husband. Help me, Holy Ghost. So can I put a sidebar in that for free for y'all? God won't send you a married person. Amen. Amen. Jesus by night, amen. Because you 
don't want the day folks you hang out with to know that you are iron poor connected with Jesus. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost. You know what that's also like? That's also the married man taking off his ring finger when he goes in a certain atmosphere.
You have your heart in it, but not your brain. Amen. You got up to here. But you don't want to get it all. You know, you ain't all the way here. You've been struggling with your faith. But I hear Jesus say, I want you to be fully submerged. Some of us have jumped in. Tied up. Tangled up. Prayed up. Locked in. Safe in his arms. Fully saturated. Fully submitted. Fully submerged. Can I get a witness? Did you see Sister Barnes this week? They played that music. She was fully submerged. Yeah, yeah. The last night she got on her knees and yeah, yeah. all of her was underneath. Yeah. Can I get over this? But you notice she had a breathing apparatus, amen, that goes above, amen. Right. And, and, and that's what gave her her air, amen. Because when you get fully submerged, you still need a connection with God. Yeah. Can I get over this? I'm dead. But I'm connected. He's breathing on me. He's, he's breathing the breath of life into me. Thank you, Jesus. You need to learn how to swim. Come on, y'all. Somebody look like you swim. Somebody look like, oh, I'm, I'm all in the water. And I'm getting in a bowl and I'm going to start doing some backstrokes. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm going under. When I come back, I ain't going to look like what I've been through. But I'm going under in God. I'm getting ready to get deeper in His Word. When trouble comes your way, just fully submerge. When trials come your way, just fully submerge. When temptations come your way, just fully submerge. When tribulations come your way, just fully submerge. When tests come your way, just fully submerge. Go deeper in God. He wants all of you. He wants your feet. He wants your knees. He wants your waist. He wants your chest. He wants your neck. And he wants your head. Give him everything. Surrender it all to Jesus. You ain't gonna recognize me after a while. Because I'm going deeper. I'm going deeper.
still waters. Come on, somebody. And I like how he closed it. He says, surely, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Jump in. Let me come say, jump in. When you jump in, you got to surely. When you jump in, you got goodness. Jump in. Stop walking around the pool. Jump in. Step out of the boat. If you step out of the boat, God will meet you there. Jump in. Stop being afraid of the water. Learn how to swim. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm learning how to swim. I'm on my way to the other side. I'm swimming with the Lord's goodness. I'm swimming with the Lord's mercy. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Anybody else swimming? Fully submerged. Gives me strength 